everyone, it's Nona Grace. Jim and I were just talking about my shirt. I'm not crazy about it because it's got the wrong neckline. I don't like this kind of neckline. I like a V-neck or a scoop neck, but I don't like this kind of neck. I don't Did like you it. Did say where you were from? Oh, no, I didn't say where I was from. Oops, he caught it. Sorry, Doyle. <laughs> Blue Bike gotcha. and Doyle. That's Blue Bike and Doyle. He, he would notice that I missed it. He he's like an eagle eye on this whole thing sometimes. <laughs> well, I'm from Western New York. There, I've said it. Okay, and I'm Nona Grace. In case I forgot that part, I think I said that part. Um, what I'm going to talk about today is I did take the little lady. I took her outside. You know, she tried to dust bathe yesterday. I took her out a second time yesterday, but she did try to dust bathe. And my goodness, those other hens, they're they are like, every time they get a little close, they kind of at her. And she gets a little nervous, and she was trying to scoot to the fence. She wanted out of there. So I took her out of the fence, because I had her in the fenced area. That's the only place that they can dust bathe, because that's the only place I have dirt, because the chickens have really dug it up well. And um, so I put her out on the grass, and she was happy on the grass and then today I brought her down into the shade because it was very hot. You could see that she was very warm. She had her mouth gapped open and she took six steps in a row before she flopped down. So she's she's getting stronger. She is trying. She still kind of cowers away when I go to pick her up. She, it's like she tries to hurry up and run and she falls down. But um, She's she's doing really good, and it's nice now that she can stand and poop. <laughs> that poop thing, yes, it was it was harder before because she couldn't move, and so when she would poop, the poop would go into her feathers, and then the feathers had to be washed. And they really don't like their feathers washed because they want the natural oils to be able to lubricate their feathers to keep them nice. And so I was constantly washing it off. Well, now that she can stand up a little bit, she stands up, poops, and then she moves away from that spot. So then I pick up the poop. Boy, you can smell it. Whew! She's got a bad odor. But uh, if you clean it up right away and throw it in the toilet, you're, you're good. You're golden. Okay. Um, I also took Mr. Brown out, and he enjoyed. He took a real long dust bath, and it was funny because the other hens were looking at him. Some of them I don't trust because I'm afraid they're going to tap on him. Well, Emma and Dorothy are my mild hens. They're really sweet. Dorothy came over and Emma came over and looked at him and they were scratching near him. And then Dorothy actually laid down on the dirt right next to him and was taking her dust bath. And he continued to dust bathe right there. He doesn't know in the chicken world he should have run away, but they let him be. They didn't, they didn't make him move because when a, a chicken that is a higher ranking than you comes into a spot, you're supposed to get up and give up the spot. It's like when the kids would lose their seat. You moved your feet, you lose your seat. Well, these chickens, they didn't lose their seat. They are forced out of it. They have to move out. And so that's how they, the chicken world is. And Mr. Brown has no idea about the chicken world because he lives in a people world. But I'm going to show you a little video right here where he hopped into the playpen with with a little lady. I was doing my comments and I thought I'd come out to see what these two were doing. And Mr. Brown flew into the playpen. He must have been scratching around because the papers were all disheveled. And he's in with little lady. Or she seems to be doing all right with him there and he's doing all right. Look at you, you two friends, two peas in a pod. Except you're not a pea, are you? You're a pooper. <laughs> Silly. Oh, there's the scratching. Yep. He's doing a lot of scratching. I'll have to fix her house when you get done playing in there. I went back out to try to see where Mr. Brown was because I let him out and let him run around in the room for quite a while and um, I go in and out 
and he follows me when I go in and out. And when I go in and out, I have to look for the little landmines because he drops his poop wherever he's been fluttering. And so I pick that up, and then I have a mop in there, and I can mop the floor a little bit. And I try to mop it, but after I put him back in his cage because the floor is slippery, and it's slipperier if I wet it. And so I went to see what he was doing, and there he was in the playpen with the little lady, and she didn't seem to mind, but he did poop on a few things, and good thing he didn't poop on her because oh, I'd have to wash her, and she wouldn't like that. I also was working on my little blessing dolls. I just love these little dolls. They are so cute. So I want to show you the one I finished, the one that I did the hair up like this. I actually put a dress on her. She has a dress now. So I have the three dolls. Whoops. And she's a little bit smaller than the rest of them, just a little. I have the three dolls. And this one had a huge head to begin with. And the hairdo I gave her really made her head look big. Whoops, that curl. Move it back. Made it really look big because she had a long head. She didn't have a, a nice round head. This one, the head turned out perfect. Well, I was thinking, you know, I want to see what they're like or how big they would be if I did them in a little bit smaller needle. So that's what I'm doing now. Now I've got another doll that I'm working on. She doesn't have her arms on yet because I found putting the hair on is a lot easier if I don't have the arms on right away because you have to work around the arms and, and with the crochet hook it just makes it hard. So I left the, the um, arms off. I have to put them on. But I did make her little dress. It's already made. So she's going to be a little sister to this one. She, this is the little sister right here. She needs a face too. Well, yeah, she does. <laughs> <laughs> That'll come eventually. I'll get her arms on first and then I'll put her dress on so she looks pretty and then I'll try to do her face. I haven't decided how I'll do the face. The faces are the hardest part. Really, the hair is the longest part, the face is the hardest part. Let's see, was there anything else that I wanted to say? I think that was it. I talked about the bearded lady and taking her steps. And um, oh, this, this is the wrong book. <laughs> this is the wrong book. Wrong book. But anyways, I think I mentioned what I wanted to mention. I think that was everything that I wanted. So, well, that is it. I hope you all had a great day, and I will talk to you all again tomorrow. So take care. Bye-bye.